Hello, welcome back. My name is Vasco the Gamer. This is Vampire. And we are starting where well, I just left off. So, let's go. Someone must know something. You there. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I oh, have sir. a few questions for you. Well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? The whole truth. What do you I mean? I suspect truth. that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm <gasps> just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory Ahoy. before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's <sighs> never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Oh, that's better for my back. And I discovered a hint, which means that... Basically, I get secrets, and as a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. And the quality of his blood just gets better. Because I don't. I, for some reason, get that when I. Oh. Tyson Delaney. Who is Tyson? You have fatigue, yeah. Good to know. Welcome so back. I can treat them and get more XP. What you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Correct. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I can fix that. He won't be cleaning up the act. Okay, go this way. I think I'm losing my mind. I see something over there. Look how I run. Oh, what's this? I will. One munitions volunteers. Nice. Get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? I see ya. Uh... The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Bloody hell. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. He failed. What's this? Some sort of note. Proven orders. Object. Multiple deaths in a dark region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Oh, he was violent. Approach with extreme caution. Don't send the rookies to the case. If I'm correct, we got a friend, so frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers! These men... 
There are cunt blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. How to get over there? Another weapon. Use scythe. I don't betray your trust. This place reeks of bloodshed. I wonder who did it. This. We've done it before. No. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Come with me, Bishop. You're the five and four. Easy. So I can just use this skill to gain health. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. Uh -oh. I must return to my Dude, flock to stray it. without me. Thanks. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Well, she saved my hours. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Hello, Swansea. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed this drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Good idea. I like that idea. This poor creature. I just can't walked over him and took a sample. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Bloody hell. I'm going to use that joke a lot of times. <laughs> This is actually one of my favorite time periods in oh, recorded history. I just find it fascinating. Where are we headed? Oh, we're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Mysterious woman. For well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. 
The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. And I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. <laughs> so, what do you say? Do I have anything to say? Thank you. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Between a what, vampire hunter and a vampire? I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Oh. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Okay, so who is somebody? You can do better than that. Dude, what are you doing? Why did you kill him? Each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Hello, sir. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. 
Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you arse! No. Insult me again and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Mesmerize. Listen! That's mesmerizing. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Racing and will provide a massive XP boost. Learning more about citizen and collecting their hints will increase their experience gain. Me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Well, you're basically dead now, so who cares? To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden. Such a divine sin. But so good. hide and seek with new staff members no matter how illustrious they may be I apologize nurse I needed some time to myself this has been the longest and strangest night of my life you delivered poor mr. Hampton from a terrible fate the means to that end should be of little concern doctor thank you nurse what can I do for you dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Goodbye. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I won't waste your time. For now. Um, Weirdo just running Dr. around. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct Move it. research. Analyze. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood. But the sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. The flower's dying. It needs water. I lift it and take it over to them then. Anyway, I needed some sleep apparently. And just sit down and try and sleep, I guess. Defensive tactical level 5 required. Uh, 10. The beast. Neat. Increase life region or can I. Oh, 
Shadow Veil. Vale. I could enjoy the Shadow Veil vale ability. Nice. I like it. The following night. Every night the consequences of your action may improve or degrade the in the district's health status. To also be degraded due to diseases spring among the citizens. So he's a pillar upon that, okay? The more lives you take, the unhealthier district becomes. Below critical it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide of a district's fate. Okay, I see. Search is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Well, my thirst for blood can wait. Because I'm sorry, but it's sound to end this episode. The reason for that is around 30 minutes of gameplay on this, since it's brand new for me as well, is enough for an episode. And I want to savor every minute and every bit of it. As if it was blood and I was a vampire. But that's not how it is. I'm just a gamer and I love to play it. So I'll just take a bit by bit by bit by bit. So I hope you guys liked this video. And remember, if you did, stick around. In any case, goodbye.